Hi, this is Syed Hashimi with the ASP.NET team. Today I'm going to be showing you some updates to the Visual Studio web publishing experience, uh, specifically around the areas of how can we uh, very quickly make some changes to the to my website and then very easily publish them. Um, we, we call these set of features uh, Quick Publish. Okay, so I'm going to create a new project. Uh, for this, I'll just go ahead and create a web forms project. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you create an MVC project, a web forms project, or even website project. Uh, all the features that I'm going to show you are available for all three um, using the latest, um, the latest release that we have. Okay, I've created a uh, web application project. I'll make sure that this runs locally. And then I'll I'll go ahead and publish the app after that, and then show you some of the productivity enhancements that we've made. Now that I know my app is up and running, I'll go ahead and publish this out to Azure websites. Even though I'm going to demo showing Azure websites, there's nothing specific to Azure here. All the support actually works for any host who's supporting Web Deploy. Okay, I'm already signed into Windows Azure. Go ahead and create a new website here. So I'll say Syed Demo. Go ahead and create this website. It'll take just a few seconds to be created here. Alright, now my website has been created. I'm going to go ahead and drill onto it. I'll download my published profile. You can go ahead and save this to your downloads folder. Now that I've saved the published profile, I'll go ahead and jump back to Visual Studio. At this point, I can go ahead and right click and say publish. I'll import the published settings file which I just downloaded. And then I can skip over to the preview tab and preview the changes if I wanted. The preview will show all the operations that will be performed. Um, let me go ahead and publish this because uh, preview is actually an existing uh, feature. So I want to kind of focus on the new features that we have. So we can see that the website is being published it'll take just a few more seconds uh, for all the payload to make it to the server and now it's there and the browser has been automatically launched alright we can see that the site was successfully published to Azure websites we can we can see here sciademo.azurewebsites.net and then following that what I want to do is make a few changes to this website and then see how easy it will be for me to actually publish these changes out let's take a look at the the site one more time so here I just want to make a few changes so I'm just going to remove uh, this paragraph and then while I'm here let me make a few other changes as well Okay, let's say if I want to update a CSS file here, go ahead and download uh, site.css, and let's make the background red. Oops. Make the background red here. And I also, I think that's it actually for now. So I'll right click and say publish again. Uh, we can start the preview. One really great feature that we've added here is the ability to double click a file to see the difference. So if I double click on my site.css, we can see the, the diffing tool has uh, showed up and we can see the contents of the current version all on the server on the left and then uh, the contents after we published. Okay, that's one way that we have that you can actually quickly publish these changes. I'm not actually going to publish this, I'll close this. I'll show you a better way that we actually could publish these. One of the other really cool features that we've implemented 
is after you've published using a web deploy protocol you can right click and say publish preview or replace at this point let me go ahead and preview the changes for site.css this will be uh, very similar to the experience that I just showed you on the publish dialog except for it's just right inside Visual Studio uh, you can also select multiple different files and then say preview as well it'll go ahead and launch the the preview uh, for each individual file so in this case I'm taking a look at the preview uh, for the default.aspx and then here's for site.css okay let me quickly publish these um, I can right click and say publish selected files and uh, this will open a web deploy connection we can see how fast that was um, I couldn't even finish my sentence there but let me reopen the site and I'll refresh it and then we'll take a look we can see my uh, my background color has flowed through here as well as the the last bullet point here was removed alright let me take a look let me show you a really sweet feature that, I, that we have uh, this here inside the default template is an image uh, let me make a modification to this image and then we'll take a look at it so this should be hero accent um, for this the um, the change doesn't really matter I just want to make any type of change which is noticeable uh, so I just inverted the colors here uh, previously when I right clicked on the file in Solution Explorer you might have noticed that we have shortcut keys for each one of these actions uh, the shortcut key for previewing is alt PC which I just invoked and then we can take a look at what is the preview experience for images uh, since images are so prevalent in websites we created some special functionality for showing you uh, what the image would look like what the what the image looks like currently on the server and then what the image will look like after we publish it once I'm satisfied with the changes I can use the alt PP shortcut to easily publish that we can see how fast that is and then go back to the website click refresh now we can see our images have, now we can see our image has been successfully published alright these are some uh, some really cool features that we've uh, implemented recently for you guys I uh, really hope that you love these features. I really do. And um, you know, feel free to give me some feedback on these and keep uh, keep an eye out on this channel. All right, this is Syed Hashimi from the ASP.NET team and thanks for paying attention.